Looks like today's uh, second half, second Super Bowl game. Now uh, Colonies kicks off here. Monica tips the ball. Daryl tips it. They have to take it out. In the end zone. They have to take Walks it out. Walks out to the, the five. The Bardzik nails him at about the ten. And we found a new sponsor for our second game, which is Budweiser Kings. Budweiser Kings. A the new king sponsor of beer. Here. When you need a bud and it's on Dave, you know, have one. Then I should take a shower because it's sticky. Okay, today's second game, which which is rumored to be a two-quarter game, features uh, Paul Tavardzik, Commissioner of the League, uh, Colonies, uh, Gaynor against... Early. Actually, Gaynor's up in the booth with us. Uh, Daryl, excuse me, Condon. <laughs> Jimmy Holly back to the pass. Great, the great mystical... mystical and he gets it out. Swanick, Swanick to the 15. Swanick. Early, I have to I have to pick the Jim. defensive team, the, uh, the condon Tavardzik team, to come out victorious, but one never knows. Second down. Like a 13th place. So we start with Jim Hawley having a tough first game. Uh, he was struggling out there, tossed up I believe two or three INTs. A couple of picks there. Tavarzik had really elevated his uh, level of performance in that first game. I believe on the field, uh, on the field we were calling it a career game. Career uh, game. Yeah. Uh -oh. Murray to hike. Murray hikes to himself. In motion. Me, Hawley hikes to himself. He's Hawley got a man open. He's, He's got, got a man open. open. Condon in. Condon in. Condon Condon the pick. Yeah. Interception. Yes. Pauly picking up where he left off. Yeah, look out for that. Tossing that those ducks. Tee, that kicking tee could, could really cause a, a twisted ankle, possibly. Tight formation here. Great. Bart Condon takes the ball for himself. Back out. to pass. Kind of open. Nails him at the 30. And that's a first down. Covered by Vinny. Is it, it Vinny or Daryl? Daryl or Vinny? Well, we'll Darryl. call him, we'll call him <laughs> Neil Hetzker. Neil Hetzker catches the ball. Eric. Eric Hetzker. Eric Hetzker. Of course, last year we had a serious injury with a, a broken collarbone. This year uh, we've had a knee injury, a couple uh, injured legs, but uh, in comparison we seem to have done fairly well. Tom Shackner sends his, uh, yeah. his greetings to the, the Duper Bowl crowd. Where is Shackner this year, just for the record? I think it's near Dublin, actually. Yes. Back to the Barnes hikes the ball back deep again. in the pocket. Tom is looking, looking for Colonies and has him. Oh, and a fine juggling catch. It counts. Yep. He, Pick up a five, be second in five. If he turned around and kept going, that may have been a touchdown because he didn't. Vardzik looks like he's dropped a few uh, pounds. Uh, what's the story on that? Vardzik. Uh, there was rumor of age, but I don't think that's the case. Incredibly, in that first game dominated. Uh, could, could have uh, serious claims on the MVP of this year's Cooper. Uh, now, the first half, he was awful quiet in the second. Half. Oh, he had that big one. I think Harold Derrick once again is seriously in contention. For him. His son played a big part His in that son game, being the man. That rush was just incredible. He was all over the court. I believe we were calling him the X Factor. I watched for Condon deep on this. Hey, Condon. Bartzik dropping back. They call him he's looking for Mike Colonies, and he's oh, wide open. Oh, 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 thrown him. away. Now we see Bartzik's true colors coming out. If we go back on the <laughs> replay, we can see that Jim Hawley had come right up the pocket there, and Bartzik was stealing the pressure, a fine defensive thrust. What's that? By Jim Hawley. Because early, early in the game, first uh, game uh, in this Cooper Bowl 13, there were some rumors that Jeffrey Derrick's presence was an unfair advantage. Was, was, did you feel that that was true, Bruce? Well, I'm not going to take any way, anything away from the other team. He certainly was a presence. Bardzik. Uh, open. Oh. oh! I think it was more just a case of we weren't quite sure how he was supposed to fit into their game plan, whether or not we could actually count him as a receiver. Okay. Once the rules were established, we, we had no problem with him at all. Tavardzik, in his uh, Duper Bowl history, prior to du this Duper Bowl 13, uh, completed 65 passes in 150 attempts. He's uh, third in Duper Bowl history in passing percentage at 44%. Second only to Harold Derrick and 
Fourth. You read very well, Bruce. Oh, and me. It's in the bat. fourth. It's the fourth? <laughs> fourth down. Bruce showing his uh, rookie ability here up at the booth. Marcy oh, dropping back. He's looking left. He's going to Condon. He's going to Condon. It's a first down. Condon with a first down at about the 16 yard line. Bruce, uh, as, as part of the uh, first game, we noted the fact that Joslin was absent and, and the factor that uh, that may have detracted from your uh, play somewhat. Indubitably. Is that a potential move? Well, potential. Hey, back Being a former. He's looking. He sees Kyle. Oh, he's Kyle Kyle open. Oh, and it's picked oh, off. And a fine Endo. offensive play. Beautiful Condon. play by Darrell. Something you know, he's missing some condiments here. I don't know. Maybe right. the quarterback. He wasn't open in that play. So. He's down. Getting up projected. Actually, uh, my wife not being here had had no bearing on my play. No bearing. Uh, yep. I just wasn't quite, quite, quite up to snuff this year. I'm curious, uh, Bruce, do you think that your marriage has any effect on your play? Well, it's pretty much ruined my whole life, so uh, <laughs> I would say that it has affected my play. So I'm, I'm sure I I'll let you know that. Divorce, I can play of course, I'm, I'm only kidding. <laughs> That's one of those men jokes. Yes, oh, 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 I oh, oh, I wait, see a flag We have thrown. a legal motion. That play's going to come back, folks. We have a flag on the play. <laughs> Offside. <laughs> legal motion. motion on the offense. Five-yard penalty, first down. Bring it back. Mr. Red, he moved before the ball was snapped. Bring it back. Give him the guy the business. That's the first down, five yards, first 50. Bruce Murray and Harold Derrick are sitting it out for various leg injuries. Um, maybe we can get a quick comment from Harold up oh, here. Here Harold up into the booth. As to, uh, How's it growing? <laughs> I'm going to have to play with it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts! Because Harold, this is, the first, this is the first year in a number of years that you haven't had female accompaniment. Company in the uh, mint in the uh, duper uh, bowl. Well, I figured this year I'd bring I'd bring really the people that counted, and that's my son. Well, okay. Back to live action. A, a double crisscross. Double Wide crisscross. open. Oh, Daryl. Oh, looks like he's going. Daryl's still running. He's walking though. Curious. And that's a touchdown. That's folks. a touchdown. Kind of shaking his very head well. Second touchdown of the day. What has happened? Oh, he got him. Yeah. He got, got him. Got him. I thought he got him back there. Throwing him down at the at the 11 yard line. They're calling it back. Back to live action. Holly with the you ball. You call this live? <laughs> Jim Holly got to himself. Throwing up that duck. Oh, 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 the receiver on the on that play should have been Toast Swanick. We were just going to give uh, Daryl some credit for bringing some life to the second Duper Bowl game here. Uh, some new blood, if you will. But uh, Condon picked that one off, showing some life of his own. No ifs, ands, or buts on that play. Jim the Holling MVP of bringing Duper Bowl a, 12. Bringing duck season early to the Duper Bowl this year. Holly <laughs> 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 apparently taking exception to those comments. Down on the field. <laughs> Jim Holling, yeah. Uh, throwing more interceptions in the Duper Bowl than any other player in the history of the game. He certainly padded those stats today. <laughs> 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 he has, and we, uh, we appreciate it. <laughs> Curious, we haven't had any uh, reports from the Griffin Hospital on the report of the of the, the strained knee. Mostly internal, uh, and a fine kick by Mike kick. Collins, that'll, and that'll be... That's a 20-yard line. That's a 20-yard line. Mike Norton for putting bring the back ball back. out of bounds in recent Duke huh? Bowls as far as kicking the ball. Uh, we had a bad angle on that one, Bruce, once again. And here's the kick, and it's a fine kick. Oh, 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 Mike Collinese, oh. whoa, incredible kick. Oh. And he's getting a standing ovation as the creator of the Duke Bowl. An amazing kick by Mike Collinese. That's a rare. Commissioner oh, Mike Collinese tied Gold Spinks record here. Putting the ball out of the end zone on a kickoff. Right. Daryl. Daryl seems to be like a roll out. level here. They're trying to talk. Oh, oh, it's it's up for grabs. Oh, lots of balls. Oh, oh, wow. Magnificent oh, Incredible. Pass interference and everything. Yes. Kevin comes down with it. No, not, not anything. Back Holly, to back to Daryl. Daryl throws a little bit low to Murray. I'm shooting Holly. Man in motion. Watch her. Oh, Where is he home? Yeah. Oh, he's flaring out in the flat. It's a run. He's got daylight, folks. Daryl, oh, way down the field, down to the nine-yard line. Beautiful run by Daryl. You see the pause? That was, that's what I think came up. There was a pause, looking for the pass, and then he took off. 
Holly with the ball. Oh, Tiny Panthers. One, one here's open. Oh, 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 what was Condon thinking of there in the, in the corner of the end? Condom! <laughs> Jim Hawley. Condom couldn't cover him! <laughs> Jim Hawley, reminding us why we invite him every year. Condom couldn't cover him! Pregnancy! That's the corner! <laughs> That's the corner! Warnick set the kick. Condom farts it back. Run over the new type of hairdo. Yeah. And that's a, that's a penalty. I'll pin him back five yards. Flags He's going to get the hat. Swanick notably upset with himself. I'll tell you, I've been most surprised by uh, Paul Tavardzik's hands today. Paul noted the normal, pass the normal hands of stone, stone have, uh, <laughs> have really come alive here today. Looks like he's been uh, getting some good use out of them, but we won't speculate as to how. <laughs> I mean, how many touchdowns? Yeah, what, two touchdowns and then a couple of interceptions? <laughs> Tavardzik, just amazing. I looked like he was doing it with both hands. <laughs> the first Ooh, last year's come best. alive here ball. in the second oh, game. Yeah. The Bartzik has put, caught three balls, for back 17 to yards, and two touchdowns. Oh, and the squiver! The squiver. Mike Collins! Mike Collins! Mike Collins! And a good fire on almost out to midfield. He can't believe disbelief. he was called down. Look at him. He's, He's in disbelief. He says, did they get me? I don't know. I thought, I, I thought I'd beat him. <laughs> Short pass here. This is good colonies. Turn around. And... Kind of looking good. They're going deep. long. They've got him! Oh! oh! There you go. What? I have this no flag. It was just uh, no flag. Daryl, a newcomer to the Duper Bowl, has uh, broken the uh, newcomer jinx and has actually performed well in this year's Duper. But has to call Vinny a number of times, which has upset him. Here. Here. Oh, we have a little baby at today's Duper. Hello, Lauren. Lauren uh, making a notable appearance here. Sprinting back. Up. Yes. Could be another future participant. Marching. Oh, get short for Mike Colonies. Has it. Whoa. Oh, oh Colonies almost won. Spectacular one-handed grab. You are correct. They run into each other. Oh, by Holly. Oh, the oh, 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 of someone who just doesn't know where he is on the plane. As a matter of fact, it's kind of like you last year on that one play, which could have cost you the game, Bruce. I believe you won. It didn't matter. Thank you very much. It brings up a funny situation here. Kind of back to kick. His kicking ability is unknown to me. Looking for a cold hamstring on this part. Hoping someone else can feel the pain that I see. If you're kicking, what would you do, Dave? I'd scream in pain because I have a cold hamstring. Okay. Conley gets the ball off. Good shake. And a fine oh, oh, all the way down three. to the three. Nice boot by Conley. Answers those critics in style, putting the ball out within the 10 yard line. The Holly team now down by a score of 7 to 0, looking to uh, get on the score here. Curious guy. May look for a blitz here in Florida. I don't know if there has been any safety. They had their opportunities here today, but uh, they just couldn't capitalize. There are 11 plays left here in this uh, game, rumored to be only two quarters in length. Do you remember if there have been any safety for this game? Uh, yes, no. there have been. There was one game that ended by the score of. 23 to 2. They don't play. Very curious play there. 23 to 2. 1984. Game number 2. I believe that was the first game I uttered the immortal Darryl phrase. Darryl back to pass. Boy, Makes. Throws it deep. He's wide open. And he oh, has it. Beautiful catch by Swanick at the 30 yard line. Swanick with the ball. Oh, Swanick with the ball. Oh, Swanick with the ball. Moving it back to the 28 here. Swanick on fire. Coach Swanick suddenly becoming the bread and butter man. Swanick, who in previous years has operated at the rookie level, is now operating at a veteran level. Could be because he definitely has picked up his game a notch. He uh, may have sneakers on this year other than work boots. Fish back to Darryl. Darryl with the ball. That's a design Fish. play. Oh, that's with a design the rush. Play. Oh, Darryl may take off with the ball. Good Fine play by Vinny. 20. Eric Hesker. First down. Of course, again, we have here in the booth with us Harold Derrick, who's, uh, kind of who we've named the Derrick rule after, not allowing uh, rushing plays without a pitch. And Derrick has in past years used that play, and then this year again to its fullest advantage. Actually, using his son this year. Using his son. <laughs> and back to live action. Back to live action. Paul, he's There's back to again, again. In, the in, the, in the Derrick mode. He's wide open. Oh, Swanick appeared open for a second. Off he didn't get rid of the ball. Yeah, he's shot. <laughs> <laughs> Darryl fakes. Oh, takes off of the ball. Oh! 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 
Give him another bear and he'll stop selling. Ollie with the ball. Ollie looking for a Swanna go. Oh, oh damn! Swanna with the ball away. Incredible. Stop, why did you look at the look on him? Incredible. Oh, he's 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 you can see. A vicious Almost an unsportsmanlike call on Swanna. Here's the quarterback here. There it is. Darryl takes it to himself. Oh, the pitch. Back to Swanna. Swanna's a good one. He's going He's going into the flat. He's open. Oh, he's going to run. Oh, he's going in the end zone momentarily. Doug Conan reaching into his bag of tricks and pulling out a beauty. Doug Conan once holding the senior record for long jump in the Duper Bowl. I believe that's my father. Long jump in the Duper Bowl? Long jump the Daryl team is working goal. towards a tie here. They're down by seven points. They need to score desperately. Are they? are working uh, on fourth down. Fourth down, I believe, ten yards to go. They will have the Hail Mary for Wait, it's a pick. Oh, Daryl's over. A little bit too much behind him. going the other way. Wanick showing his inexperience at quarterback on that one. On the deep. Second game. Oh, takes the ball down to the 29-yard line. Looks like a first down. Three plays left. Three plays left. Dr. Gaynor, smile for the camera. Yep. You are our only fan. Father, Dr. Gaynor making an appearance in the... Uh, <laughs> the uh, in case there's any orthodontia injuries oh. here, people with missing teeth and whatnot, yeah. we do have our medical staff on hand. Okay, <laughs> Condon's team now out with the ball, Doug winning Kyle by a score right. of 7 My guy is wide left. Uh, yeah. The back in the pocket. He's looking for Condon all the Not way. Indeed. He's got Condon oh! all the way! That's the nail in the coffin. Goodbye, Charlie. The party's over. Say what you want. This one's history. Oh, you know, 14 to 0. Condon comes back after a disappointing first game to uh, lead this game 14 to 0. Let's just scan the, the booth here. We've got two, the two players of the 80s decade here sitting next to each other, Murray and Tavarzik. Tavarzik, please! Derek, Murray and please. Derek, both names are so alike. What can I say? <laughs> Derek and Tavarzik, I know you can miss some. Uh, uh, what can you two fine Italian names. What can you two individuals uh, leave us with as a, uh, a sign of uh, We can move the fans. Reaction? We can move the fans, I move guess. Move the fans? Well, That's a scary no. thought. Oh, there you have it from Bruce Murray, Pittsburgh fan. And that's uh, that's in bounds, folks. That's in. He stepped out. He was out of bounds. Out of bounds, folks. Play is dead. <laughs> Two plays left. Each team does have their full complement of timeouts. No one using the timeouts, which. I'm amazed that the team of uh, Holly uh, Swarnick and uh, Eric Hesker it's a bomb. have not used their time out. Well, the, uh, Again, <laughs> rookie mistakes. That's right. One rookie. I look for Jim Holly to take charge of the team and use his veteran leadership to, to march him down the field. Well, it doesn't appear to be that way. Swarnick back to Daryl. Daryl with the, the ball. Holly Thank wide you. open. Fine, fine coverage there by Paul Tavarzic. Yeah. Holly oh. with a move. Incredible! You never guessed he was over 30 after that move. That was a Jim Holly play all the way. We saw the pure speed of Jim Holly in that first game when he scampered down the sideline for a 80-yard touchdown. And that would be pretty impressive on a 60-yard field. That was nice. <laughs> One play left. One play the left. The field was longer than we'd all remembered in the past. <laughs> Especially after we ran up and down it a few times. <laughs> So I do have but to Paul Tavarzic swears it's the same length as always been, so I believe him. And we swore right back at him. <laughs> <laughs> let's give thanks but again once more to Paul Tavarzic for this field today. Paul Tavarzic's best field ever, and he's really it, playing a hell of a game. I think he's, he's even better to face the famous... Paul Lee! 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 Paul Vardic, uh, uh, Look reveling in his glory there, gets burned again. They keep their timeouts at this point. Timeout, there it goes. We have one play remaining, two timeouts left for the Holly team. I just don't know what is. Which is this? Hike, back to Darryl. Take the Holly. Long pass, Vardic! In the end zone! Oh! 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 Oh!
spike. Oh, oh my god, Tom, yeah. what a spike. Beautiful you know, place. Why do we play? It's a lot more fun up here. I am. <laughs> why don't I put my the icing on the cake to a no, fun performance in this Super Bowl you get out here, you get to talk and have fun? Why Unfortunately, it may be a little no bit idea. too little too late again. The score is 14 to 7. Um, time time out. out on the field. Second time out for the Holly oh. team. Uh, the one play remaining with one time out. But Swanick again with a beautiful catch. Beat Condon in the end zone. Condon, who last year was named MVP of Duper Bowl 12 for his fine defensive play, has seemed to lose a little bit uh, this year, and uh, we're not quite sure why. Again, uh, well, an intangible, possibly Scorpion Bowl prior to the game or, or whatever, but... I don't think it was the Scorpion Bowls as much as the 15 beers I saw him drink at uh -oh. Sully's Cafe. Last there you have it. There you have it from Bruce Murray, 15 beers at Sully's Cafe. And that was just before midnight. We don't know what he did after yeah. midnight, which could have really... Well, he had another 15, let me tell you. Really? I was really... That's an amazing performance. Yeah. Let's all go, also give thanks to Linda, today, Eric today's Hester camera woman, who's done a great job. Linda, why don't you take a, a bow? She's take a, a bow. rookie, and she's doing an Thank excellent you. job. Oh, you don't know that. Why do you do the bow in front yeah. of the There's screen? Kick, There's a short kick. kick. It goes to Tavartic. He oh, can't oh, hit Bartzik was up for MVP honors, and that play has really kept the series going. Jim Holly can use his veteran leadership to bring his team in for the time oh. score. Oh my lord, I've never what seen such a turn of events such a, in such a quick period of time. Or is this like a season? Mike Beck to Darrell. Darrell with the ball. Swanick and Holly right. in the end zone. No one appears open at this point. He's going to go for it. What's the official I, ruling? What's the official did the ruling? Did break the plane? Yeah, yeah. It did. It looked Touchdown, like it. Touchdown, and it's tied, folks. What a turn of Incredible. events. Incredible. Incredible. Tavardzik, who we uh, spoke about as, as upgrading his game to superstar Tavardzik level. Tavardzik can kiss that MVP goodbye, baby. Fumbles the ball. <laughs> Swanick picks it up. Uh, ultimately, the Holly team scores. There's still a play left. Tied up, 14 to 14. You call, you call timeout. 21 14. 14 all. Tied off. 14 all. Oh, we scored. I scored one. 21 14. 14 14. That's 21. He just That's scored. Right. I thought it was 21 14. 21 14. What a turn of events. There's one more play left. Uh, the timeout was called. Because we didn't really call our timeout. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shoot. Sure. 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 Once again, with the the if you can't win fair, cheat like hell. Let's have it a halftime interview with Daryl. Daryl, as a new participant in this Woo! Super Bowl, uh, you certainly demonstrated some new life and some uh, I'm kind of sucking some, some uh, ability out there. there. What do you think owe, about what do you think about this Super Bowl? I owe it all to the guy in the red here, man. Two, 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 two fantastic catches. Swanick, let's a have you in here as a halftime interviewee. Come on. We need Swanick. Come on, we need Swanick in here. He's the star. Swanick, no, come on. He's the star. Swanick, no, come on. Swanick, who in years, uh, previous years has been known as a rookie. This year has seemingly upgraded his team to veteran, this veteran is ability. Year, right? Kevin, Kevin's now a veteran. What do you, what do you have to say, Kevin? I'm it, loving it. This is the best I played. Yeah. It, I felt it at the end of the first game. I knew it was being unstoppable. Can you attribute it to the uh, to the sneakers or, nope, or the bush? Is it the bush? I had six million beers this week at least. Okay. <laughs> how is how's your friend feeling? We're worried about the gold stick. I think he'll be all right. Okay. He broke your knee, I broke my knee. Yeah. And it wasn't as bad as what he had. He'll be all right. Okay. There you have it from uh, Kevin Swan, who's upgraded his game from rookie status to veteran status, and uh, it's been a great second Duper Bowl game. Of, uh, Linda doing her thing. Let's look forward to the second half of Duper Bowl game 13, game number two. Okay, Paul and his baby. Duper Bowl pictures, Duper Bowl pictures, and the missus. <laughs> Okay, we have the start of uh, Super Bowl 13, uh, Game 2, the second half of that game. Uh, apparently, we had the score wrong in the first half. Darrell claims that his team is up by a uh, score of 21 to 14, and that's been confirmed by Commissioner of the League Michael Colonies. So uh, we'll start with that score. Darrell's team's kicking off. Darrell complained at halftime of France in his legs. Let's see how he'll do out there. Good kick. Back to Murray in the end zone. He takes it in the end zone. Out to the 10. Well, some moves there, but down at about the 10. We've lost uh, the booth personnel that we've had 
in that uh, first half of the second game. Uh, Condon uh, is gone. Uh, Harold Derrick's gone with his son. Uh, Murray's back out on the field. Weiskel at this point is moving his car. Um, so uh, looks like I'm handling the uh, the uh, announcing on my own at this point. We'll look for some color commentary from Linda, who's handling the color co the uh, camera work beautifully. As it comes out, uh, looks like Colony's going to hike the ball to him. Murray out in the wing. First down play here. Kovarczyk with the ball, out the Colonies. Oh! A little bit behind him. Colonies couldn't come up with the handle. Second down play. Colonies' team is down by one score at this point. We've got a three-on-three -three battle. First game was a four-on-four -four game. Of course, Murray looking to redeem himself a little bit here. Set off, set out the first half of the uh, the second game with with bad legs. Apparently, everyone's suffering from some degree of uh, leg discomfort. But uh, Murray is out here uh, looking to uh, uh, potentially score a victory in today's Super Bowl. Pass to Pavardzic out in front of him. All right. Kovarczyk's team is 0 for 2 here. Of course, they're down by a touchdown. They're, uh, they're really looking to score here. They need to uh, come back to tie things up. Third down, 10 yards to go. This is your first Super Bowl, and what have you thought of today's uh, festivities? Well, I was looking forward to the Super Bowl for a long time. Now I've seen all the previous tapes, and it's exciting to be here. Very good. Here comes Paul with the ball, yeah, moving with the ball. Puts the hike it to himself. Here he goes. Murray out in the pattern with Colin East. Murray look, going deep. Tavarzic puts the ball up for grabs. Oh, a little bit short. That'll bring up fourth down. Tavarzic, Colin East unable to capitalize there. They're going to have to punt. Darrell's done a good job as a newcomer, although he has he had complained at halftime about the leg, some sort of leg pains. Murray kicks, punts the ball. Out of bounds at about the 20, excuse me, the 15 to 17 yard line. Here comes Darrell with the lead. Darrell's uh, team's winning 21 to 14. He's got Hawley and Swanick. Swanick again has uplifted his game along with Tavarzic today. Swanick, oh! Pass out to Hawley. Knocked away by Tavarzic at the last minute. That'll bring up second down. Um, you can still see inscribed across the field, Duper, um, which apparently uh, relates to Stuper, which the Super Bowl, the first uh, Duper Bowl is named after. And the lines are still uh, beautifully uh, implanted in the field. Back to Swanick. Swanick yes, looks to take yes. off the ball. Yes! Not, not Out to the 19. Daryl hikes the ball to himself. Swanick's going deep. Whoa! Just overthrown. Murray had the coverage but fell down. Swanick uh, looked like he, uh, he was open out there, but Daryl missed him. Daryl upset with himself on the field. That'll bring up a fourth down in about nine. Looks like the Daryl team's going to have to punt here and give the ball back to the Colony squad. Punt by Swanick. Swanick uh, seems to be upset with himself. Looks like they're going to mark this ball way up. Of course, in this three-on-three -three matchup, uh, everyone's el eligible. There's a quarterback and two receivers. Murray back to pass. Oh, Tavardic's open. Catches the ball across the 30-yard line to the 29 into, uh, into the other team's territory. Nice catch by Tavardic. That'll just pad his statistics from this 13th Super Bowl. He's had a great day. Of course, that's not what they're thinking about at this point. They want to come back and tie this ball game up. 21-14, uh, Darrell's team's winning. Uh, to give him a liberal spot out there, up to about the 25-yard line. Is that a first down? Looks to be a first down with about seven plays to go in this third quarter. Colonies Murray team, Tavares team comes up to the line. Murray to hike it to himself. He's quarterback. An unusual spot for Murray, who's been known as a receiver over the years. Murray hikes it to himself. Everyone's out in the pattern. He fakes. Throws it deep. Kovarczyk in the end zone. Oh, tip by Swanick. Beautiful play by Swanick. Murray threw it up for grabs. Again, not noted for his passing ability over the Toopers. And uh, 
Uh, Kowarczyk appeared open momentarily, but Swanick again provided the uh, good defensive coverage and knocked that ball away. So that'll bring up a second down with six plays to go in the third quarter. And at this point, they marked the ball back a slight bit uh, to the 21 where the ball should have been originally. So Kowarczyk at this point looks like he's going to be quarterback. Likes the ball to himself. Connie and Murray. Oh, Connie's oh, open. Oh, First down. Looking for more. Gets it down to about the 14 yard line. Nice play. Darrell wasn't quite with the coverage on that one. Uh, Kyle East was wide open and he uh, made a nice play on it for the first down, bringing it up to the 14 yard line. First down and 10 here. Um, Kyle East's team again down by 7 points at this point. Looking to tie the game up. Uh, Bill Weiss goes back after moving his uh, car. Maybe we can get him up in the booth for some color commentary. Oh. Momentarily, Bill suggests. He needs to use the facilities. Okay, Paul again to hike the ball to himself. Throws it up for Murray. Murray ends on touchdown. Murray continues his uh, streak of scoring touchdowns in these Duper Bowl games. I'm not sure if that's his uh, second or third today, but again, a nice catch by Murray. The ball appeared to be thrown up for grabs, but Murray ran under it and uh, ties this ball game up at 21 off. Good kick by Murray down the center. Holly in the end zone decides to uh, call it a fair catch and uh, we'll bring this one out to the 10. But Murray, of course, didn't want to be outdone by Goldsmink and the Colonies who have already uh, created uh, kicks for uh, touchbacks today. So uh, he's been the third area where we use the facilities here. Holly out to Swanick. Swanick with a nice catch out to the 22 yard line. Beautiful catch by Swanick and Holly. Uh, Holly again is, was an excellent quarterback in last year's Duper Bowls, throwing for four touchdowns. Um, didn't quite live up to that potential in the uh, first game. Swanick, oh, picked up by Tavarzic. Beautiful play by Paul. Paul providing another nice play here. Bringing the ball over for the Colonies uh, Murray team. And uh, again, uh, they recently tied the game up at 21 all. They're looking to take the lead here. Nice play by Tavards. He, he could definitely continue in the running for MVP honors today. Let's see how they'll come out. Uh, Tavards' exact quarterback with Murray at his uh, usual receiver position. And Colonies also had a receiver. Tavards hikes to himself. Oh, he's open on the sideline. Nice gain of about nine yards up to the 29-yard line. So that's the half. Quarter, excuse me. Second down and about one here. This could be a, an opportunity for a long, long pass. No, oh, short pass. Looking just for the first down, they pick it up. Up to about the opponent's 28-yard line. The bars can hike the ball to himself. Murray, oh, overthrow. The Bar Vardzik apparently thought that Murray was going to go deep on that one. Murray cut it up. Uh, Swanick had a deep coverage. Murray cut it up. Uh, Swanick, excuse me, Vardzik had thrown it deep. Colin East with the pass rush on that one. Uh, we're not sure how Vardzik has hurt himself, but he appears injured on this one. We have 13 plays left. Uh, second down here. Kovarzik hiked the ball to himself again. Murray open. Oh, overthrown again. Kovarzik's very upset with himself. Third down. 12 plays left in this fourth quarter. We have a tie score of 21 Oz. These are a very important set of downs here. Barzik hikes the ball to himself. Colony's out in the pattern. Murray appears cover. Let's see. Oh, he completes it down to the 15-yard line. First down. Good enough for a first down. Beautiful pattern. Beautiful play by uh, Tavarzik. Tavarzik again to hike the ball to himself. No blitzes apparently in this 3-on-3 three three game. Colony's open. Oh! Looks like he had a grip on it. Not quite. Whoa! A slippery turf out there. Alright. 
Well, I'll come back for second down here. Honey uh, appears slightly injured, but uh, willing to continue. Yeah. Why did he hike the ball to himself? Yeah. Murray open. Oh, knocked away by Swanick. Again, Murray appeared open, but Swanick uh, operating at the high level of intensity here today. Uh, knocked that ball away. Beautiful defense by Swanick. That'll bring up a third down and ten situation. 21-21 tie. It's only ten plays left. Excuse me, nine plays left in today's game. Each team has their full complement of three timeouts remaining. Let's see what transpires. Hike to, to Tavarzik. Collins appeared open momentarily. Murray in the end zone. Oh, beautiful catch! Touchdown, Murray! Another one of those touchdowns that Murray has been so proficient at over the years. Beautiful catch in the end zone. Some question on the field as to whether he trapped it or not, but the uh, apparently uh, Mr. Weiss go down on the field, calls it a completion, and uh, that's a touchdown. 28-21, the Murray team ahead. Again, Murray uh, looking to redeem himself after that first game, and uh, he didn't take that loss lightly. He wants to win this game, and uh, they're ahead 21 to 20, excuse me, 28 to 21. With only eight plays left, this game's uh, this game could be very tight coming down to the end. Murray puts it up, Swanick at the 5, up to the 10, 15, 20, oh, it looks like Tavart's kneeling at about the 16. All he's going to hike it to himself. Back to Swanick, he can run on this one if he wants. Dale was well covered. Swanick appeared to throw the ball for grabs. Well, let's see, we have two spectators coming here, Mr. Uh, Grandpa Tony and Mr. Grandma Ann. Although Ryan has not made an appearance in today's group of ball. He didn't show up yet. Oh, they didn't come yet. Uh, yeah. The question that play call is Monica quarterback, uh, possibly a girl's been experienced in the past group of balls. Uh, Swanick has, has performed admirably today and excellently. But, uh, you would question his positioning of quarterback. Again, Swanick back the ball to himself. No, back to Darrell with a blitz. Darrell takes off, has some blocking. Looks like he picked up the first down there. Beautiful play by Darrell. We haven't seen much of the blitz in today's second game with only a three on three. We thought it could be uh, disallowed, but apparently, apparently it's still it's still an acceptable play, and that was a nice play by Darrell. Thank. Uh, Score again here is 28 to 21. Uh, Daryl's team is looking to drive. We've got Daryl, Swanick, and, Mer and uh, Holly out there looking to score this game up, tie this game up. Uh, here's Swanick. Swanick hikes back to Daryl. This is the combination that we like to see. Daryl with the ball. Daryl might take off with it. Apparently doesn't know the ruling here. I don't believe he's eligible to run on that one. Commissioner of the league, Mike Collis, is out there on the field. Let's see what he rules. Second down, five plays in this fourth quarter. Commissioner of the league, Mike Collis, has just ruled on the field. If, in case of a tie, there will be a seven-play overtime. Gerald to hike the ball. Looks like Swank's back at quarterback. Well, Swank's going to run with the ball. Nice gain up to about the seven-yard line. Could be a first down. Looks like it is. There are four plays remaining. Each team again has its full complement of three timeouts. Holly's team is down by one touchdown, one score. It's 28 to 21. Darrell the snap. Snap the ball to himself, it appears. Swanick's behind him. Swanick goes out for the pass. Holly's open in the end zone. Off his head. Picked off! Picked off by Murray. That was a big play, a big turnaround. They can now uh, sit on this one score margin with only three plays remaining. Again, uh, there are three timeouts remaining for each side, but there are only three plays remaining. Murray with a big pickoff. Off of Holly's hands, Holly uh, appeared to have the ball, but uh, couldn't come up with it. Swanick very upset over in the corner of the end zone over there. 
Weissel uh, trying to uh, give some uh, consolence, but uh, it doesn't appear good enough at this point. The ball comes out to the 10. Colonies Murray, Farzik team with the ball. The Farzik can hike the ball to himself. Murray out. Good for a 9 yard, 10 yard pattern. First down. Time out. Time out. Three plays left. Holly team uses their first time out, two time out left. The Barzik can hike the ball to himself again. The Barzik's been operating as quarterback here. Colonies appears open. Murray's going deep. Colonies cuts across incomplete over his head. That'll bring up second down. But again, three plays remaining unless they take a timeout. Wow, they've changed their mind. They want to play in lieu of a timeout. So there are two timeouts remaining and two plays left. Paul hikes the ball to himself. Murray going deep. Murray appears open. Oh, beautiful pass by Paul off off Murray's hands. It, it appeared catchable, but uh, Murray couldn't come up with it. Nice play. Third down, big third down and ten. Murray team can ice this game with a first down. To Tavarzic, game of about five. Looks like they're going to put the ball at this point. Fourth down and five to go. With one play left, unless there's a timeout call. Oh, good. Great. Well, that appears to be the game. 28-21 uh, victory for the Murray team. Murray uh, redeems himself. Yeah, he didn't play in that first half, but Tavardzik, uh, Compton, and uh, Collins put it together for him. And uh, Murray, Swanick, and uh, Vinny go down to defeat. But uh, that was that was a good contest and uh, a worthy uh, Super Bowl 13 uh, game two. And. Uh, We'll certainly come on for interviews uh, this this second half, uh, this end of the second game. But that was a worthy second game, a worthy Duper Bowl 13, and uh, it was a slightly overcast this this second Duper Bowl, but uh, it was a good performance. Can we replay that interception in the end zone? That uh, that was a big turnover. Can we replay that? That was a big turnover. Let's see how bad a pass I threw. Can Bruce, that, that? Bruce, that was a big comeback in that second game. Can we replay you redeem yourself. For the second Duper Bowl in a row from a, a first to game loss, uh, how did it feel to get back in there in the second half of the second game with a, with a victory? It was good. I, I went out there and I, I knew I could help that team. I just need a little direction. And uh, we had two quality players with Mike and Paul on my team. I knew it was just a matter of time before we put it all together. Again, Pavardzik, uh coming out of nowhere, seemed to put a good game together. How really, can you explain this? Really assumed the leadership position out yeah. there. I was just participating in his game plan and he he was the general out there. He really did a great job. Dick, uh, Paul, you really turned yeah. in a great performance this year. Yeah. Maybe one of the best ones I think we've ever seen out of here. Well, uh, I'd say it's about time, right? Yeah, it's good about job. time. Uh, we, had, uh, we had a good day. We were hoping for the sun. It never came out. But uh, the rain is uh, starting rain right off. now. Yeah. yeah, rain is starting right now. We're cleaning up. Uh, the uh, contests are over. Um, also, we'd like to thank everybody for attending. We had uh, several injuries this year. This was uh, a first very, play. yeah, we had a first Gainer go down, uh, Murray went down for a while, guys Derek had an injury, flies. I yep. had a little guys problem. Like flies. And, uh, the most serious was Greg Goldspink, I think, Goldspink. who looked like he was really going to dominate until he yeah. went down with a fairly um, serious injury. We hope it's not too bad. On that play, if you'll see that, that, that kickoff return uh, on the tape, you'll see that uh, he made a cut and... Uh, he came up behind me, I was throwing a block, and I heard something pop, and yep. I thought it was far more serious, but uh, he did walk off the field, and uh, that's a good sign. Paul, again, let me compliment you not only on your play on the field, but also the design of the field. Oh, you really well, outdid yourself this Thank time. you, thank you. I think it was, uh, I think it's the best that we've had uh, so far. Let me ask you this question, Paul. With all these injuries, there's been some talk of maybe this being the last Duper Bowl ever. What do you um, think of that? I, I seriously doubt that. I think that... Uh, <laughs> We're competitors, and uh, Once we all heal. We have a year to heal, of course, and uh, most of us uh, have come into this uh, Duper Bowl in some kind of shape. And if we do the same uh, for the off season, we'll be ready to go next season. Yeah, that's right. Let's uh, get Kevin Swanick over here if we can. Uh, Kevin, really, and now I think in his fourth Duper Bowl, really came into his own this year. We'll have to say, Kevin, you did a great job out there. How did it feel? It felt good. Good job, but, yeah. yeah, well, it'll take a few weeks probably to, to fully heal. Uh, any secret this year, Kevin, to you're really coming on strong? 
relieving a lot of stress. Yeah. That's all it could be. Well, you, did a, you did a great job out there. And this is the end of Duper Bowl 13, just as the rain arrives. Probably should shut off the equipment before an electrocution sets in. We'll see you off at the Holly Mansion and question whether Duper Bowl 14 will really take place next year. There were a lot of injuries this year, but we expect to be back again next year for number 14. Thanks to our camera person, Linda Abraham, who's done a great job behind the camera. And to everyone else here who's made Duper Bowl 13 a huge success, our best wishes go out to the injured players, and we'll see you next year. So for the Bronson Broadcasting Network, this is Mike Connie signing off.